Today we're going to investigate scaling the output current in current mirrors. So we know how to find the output current in a bipolar current mirror. If we want to do it in a MOS current mirror, we want, uh, we're going to use the following relation. We know that the reference current is equal to V dd minus a VGS for our current mirror. Now, we've been using the relationship that the overdrive voltage, VOV, is equal to VGS minus VTH. We can easily change this around and note that VGS then is equal to a VOV plus a VTH. These are both known quantities if we know how much current is flowing through our device and what the size of the device is. The threshold voltage that we've been using, for instance, is about 0.4 volts, and a common voltage used for the overdrive voltage is approximately 0.25 volts. Now, of course, we can change this ar around a bit depending upon what the supply voltage in our process is. We've been using a VDD of 1.8 volts for our MOS transistors. Okay, so what we need to do is pick a VOV, and like I said, this could be typically 0.25 volts, but it might be in the range of 0.1 volt to uh, a half a volt. Now we're going to find W over L for this VOV and the desired reference current. And you can see we do this using the VOV equation here. Finally, if we want to get a different output current, we're going to scale W over L2 re uh, relative to W over L1. So for instance, we might make W over L2 equal to N times W over L1, and this would mean that I out would be N times I ref. So one thing that we need to ask is what would we do if we wanted to get a really small output current out of this, this, this device? We get uh, a really big output current if we want by scaling. What if we want a small output current? So first let's ask if we want, uh, if we assume that we're going to make our VGS equal to somewhere about 0.7 volts, and we want one microamp I out, what size would we have to make R ref. Okay, if we assume that our VGS is approximately 0.7 volts, this means that we have about 1.1 volts across the resistor. So R, R would be equal to 1.8 minus 0.7 over our desired output current of 1 microamp. And this would mean that we would have an output resistance of about 1.1 mega ohm. Now, we could easily accommodate this if we were building a discrete circuit with bipolar transistors, but this would be very difficult on an integrated circuit. So in the next lecture, we're going to look at how we actually scale this if we want to make the current smaller rather than bigger.